not mention that King has been shot at the Lorraine. Today we remember and recommit ourselves to the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today we honor the struggles black men and black women endured and overcame to help us get to where we are. Today we recognize that the battle for equality continues. Today is the day that we share with both young and old the strength that comes from within, reminding us all of the power we hold as we grow older and wiser. 2020 reminded us that the issues previous generations fought to change are still very much with us and are now being brought to light for all to see. In 1868, the 14th Amendment guaranteed African Americans equal protection under the laws. Yet after more than 150 years, we know that this promised equality has still not been realized. Today we mourn the deaths of Stephon Clark, Rayshard Brooks, Daniel Prude, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and 200 others lost to police brutality. This past year, a global pandemic claimed the lives of almost 400,000 Americans. More than 50,000 were black. Across the country, Black people are dying of COVID-19 at twice the rate of whites. Yet through it all, we maintained our relentless commitment to continually dreaming of a society that works for everyone. 2020 was a year where we showed up, stood strong, and stayed the course for the Great Awakening. We supported small businesses, fed struggling families, helped victims of COVID, and refused to let anything stop our voices from being heard and our votes from being counted. No matter how many times we got knocked down, we stood up stronger. With each protest, each rally, and each challenging moment, we sustained a new commitment. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the South with. We will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Today, we honor the man who brought us closer to realizing the guarantee of equality under the law, and we continue to build upon the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr.